and we are back and uh, we are back with not a new series just a continuation of uh, where we left off uh, yeah the process continues and why I'm continuing is because what happens next is really very important and any of you watching this who are doing a total build or a rebuild are going to have to go through what we're about to go through and that is getting your vehicle registered roadworthy uh, you name it man wait don't worry the wait is coming as soon as I've got my insurance sorted out which is something else uh, we will close that wait competition and see who has won the year's free membership to the motorhome club of SA so there's a lot to cover in this in this uh, section where we're going now um, week by week whatever we do I will share with you to the best of my ability so this week let's get a little bit dotty but before we do here is what we based our build on all those years ago both interior as well as exterior and this is a little reminder of what we had and this is what we now have after the hill of our reveal we still have a few small iffy things to finish off mostly to do with installing the last of our rubber seals between body panels Brahm has plucked a to-do list on Mirai that Chris and Rocky need to get through by the end of the week right then let's talk about dots now the real iffy stuff starts um, it's quite late in the afternoon and I'm waiting for the microdot man now what I know about microdots were from like when I was going to like a jaw in the 80s and 90s and one decided to go large and you would clap a microdot and you would jaw hard well this is not one of those this is all for security on the vehicle and it's got to do with if the vehicle gets stolen and they recover it they find these little dots and they're all over the place and they can well it's a security measure for a vehicle but you have to have it you have to have it um, for homologation for roadworthy I need micro dots so we are waiting for the micro dot man this is Gert the micro dot man Gert is also the guy who will do our roadworthy test when we get to that stage I asked Gert what was in the can he was shaking around <laughs> Yeah. This is a micro dot. This is what they call a micro dot. Oh, well, okay. Now, op that dot is a number. Okay. Now, there are 10,000 of these dots in this canister. Oh, wow. Now... Well, so, this is a physical dot? Yeah. What you eat, Spike? That's right. And then, op them is a specific number. Now, that number is allocated to this vehicle and this vehicle is registered. No, no, no. Who makes this good in this perfect number on the dots? No, that's is, is technology. <laughs> so, how amazing is that? I had no idea that in that spray can are a whole lot of little dots, and on each dot is a number. I mean, and they are microscopic, they are micro dots. It's like quite hectic, it's quite scary as well. I mean, so. Yeah, what if there's an oak walking around and he walks past you in the street and he just goes and he microdots you? Then you like tag for life, eh? And you'll never know it. Just a microdot it. Done. Yo. Then it was down to business. Gert then wanted to know where our chassis number was. Gert has got a challenge because we don't know where the chassis number is. We haven't seen one and we have stripped this vehicle from top to bottom. Uh, engine number we do know, uh, chassis number, no idea bro, no idea. But there is a lot of Mirai to cover, so Gerd started to spread his little numbers around. Then Gerd gets interrupted by Markiplan Chris, who wants to know how this all works. Now Chris talks a lot, and I mean like a cuckload. There is a very real danger that Gert will still be here in 2024 if we allow Chris to keep nattering to him. We chased Chris away so we could all go home today. Little did we know, Chris was about to get a lesson 
in power tool safety. I just received a message from Brahm with these photographs. Now, if you're eating breakfast, please look away. This is Chris's thumb. Yeah, luckily he has still got it, but um, it got kissed by a circular saw. Now, as somebody who has chopped their fingers off in the past, I know how damn sore it can be. So yeah, I just hope that uh, anyway, that it heals quite quickly. And because uh, yeah, this man needs all his fingers and thumbs to do his craft that he does so well. But that's it for this week. Um, painful note to end on, hey? Uh, next week, I really hope to bring you the whole process um, regarding getting our roadworthy and um, a police clearance. Now it's quite a mission and a lot of these places I will not be able to film at because the guys get quite iffy. So I will do my best to cover it as best as I can. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, um, I'm not one for running around doing lots of paperwork, but I think I am going to learn very quickly. Um, I have done a lot of my spade work already and it is a lot. So yeah, we will see you next week and uh, hopefully get onto that way bridge so that we can announce the winner of our competition. I also want to know what my baby weighs. So please guys, yeah, that's it. Uh, please look after yourself, look after your families, look after your possessions. Please ignore what these maniac politicians say. You know, they blow hot air and all they're doing is flaming. Flaming? Did I say flaming? Yeah, well, they're flaming flames. They're flaming flames. Yeah, see I get tongue-tied just trying to talk about it because it upsets me. Just ignore them. Ignore them. Anyway, look after yourselves and keep safe.